There are limited information about AI product management salary, especially how much really does AI product manager get paid? Do they get paid much higher than traditional product manager or is it just a bad word? In this video, I'm going to demystify AI product manager salary and how much is getting paid in today's job market and the best tip for everybody to deal with today's ever-changing job market trends. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product feature in Forbes. I've helped thousand people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe, check out a new video every Tuesday. I did lots of research about AI product manager salary and I got some shocking results. I found there's two different websites and one they focus on the traditional product manager salaries throughout the entire country in the US and the other one is only focused on AI product manager salaries. Now let's do side by side comparison. The median salary of traditional product managers is only getting paid $132,000 per year. But once you compare with the median salary of AI product manager, it's actually $204,500 for median AI product manager salary. This is 55% higher than the traditional product manager salary. This is like literally blowing my mind, which is kind of true actually. Now let's take a look at other levels of salaries. The top 75 percentile of the AI product manager is getting paid at $225,000 and $600. This is oh, blowing my mind. That's really, that's another 37% higher than traditional product manager. Now let's compare the top 10%. The top 10% of product managers currently in the US is getting paid at $190,000 per year. However, the top 10% of AI product managers getting paid at $251,000 as $950 in total. That's 33% higher than traditional product manager. Please be aware that currently all the salary does not include the fan AI product manager salary because fan product managers, first of all, the top 1%, not top 10%, and their salary actually is going through the roof, which got to break it down in the later session of this video. Now let's talk about, hey, people that Nancy talk about higher end, what about the entry level product managers out there? On average, the traditional product managers for the entry level bottom 10% PMs out there is getting paid at $75,000 per year. If you compare with the AI product manager, the bottom 10% getting paid at $94,300. That's another 26% higher than the traditional product manager. So on average, AI product manager is getting paid at 33% higher than traditional product manager. So now let's look into those fan level and all the top 1%, how much they are getting paid right now. This is another shocking news. So last year, Netflix is hiring their AI product manager for their ML platforms as high as $900,000 per year. And this year, they launched another new job. They're paying AI product managers up to $750,000 per year. And the best part of Netflix is that it's all cash. They don't really give you lots of theoretical stock options. It just gives you cash. By the way, it's not even the highest AI product manager salary. Get ready to get mind blown. Open AI is paying people as high as $1 million. See this chart from the level FYI. Currently, OpenAI is paying their product managers at $800,000 per year up to $929,000 per year. Of course, it's a lot to do with valuation of OpenAI and recently convert themselves into a private company. And not too many people from OpenAI disclose the salary. So maybe the more people at OpenAI getting paid even higher than $1 million, or so maybe lower than $800,000 per year. But with all the information I can find online, this is definitely mind blown. Now people may ask me this question, hey, what about startups? Do startups pay people very well? Yes. I literally have a student who joined 50 people AI startup and he's getting paid $160,000 as a base salary plus equity of the company. Of course, equity company really depends on how we evaluate the company. It might become the next Google, next Nvidia, next OpenAI, might be nothing. So it really depends on you how much you believe in the future of the startup. And I also have another student who is about to join an AI startup spin out of the MIT and only Series A funding right now, but they already raised $35 million in funding and paying my student around $80,000 in terms of the cash plus additional equity. So therefore, I recommend everybody who want to break into AI product management or AI in general, 
you definitely pick up the right trend because in general, the entire industry is paying people 35% higher compared with the traditional industry. And they also won the main category of hiring on lots of people and they receive lots of funding. So if you're not able to join OpenAI, you might consider it a startup at the stand number one and then join all the tier one AI companies. If you like any free information I provide today, make sure to like this video so that the algorithm is going to share with you very similar and best content just like this. So what are those AI plan managers that really tell you about today's job market? Number one, the world is changing and moving towards AI. And the entire AI industry is growing 37% year over year. And last quarter, an AI startup just raised $11 billion in funding. This represents 30% of the total funding having raised in the startup space in the last quarter. What, what does this tell us is about in today's job market, it's not based on seasons anymore. It's based on whether the startup has received funding. Usually whenever the moment they receive funding within a month or few weeks that it need they hire lots of people to really grow the company and meet the expectations from the investors. Uh, therefore, I recommend everybody check out different websites such as TechCrunch or CrunchSpace to follow all different kind of AI fundraising and AI startup information. You should also personally use AI product and experience the revolution of AI. For example, OpenAI just launched advanced voice mode. I was able to use ChatGPT to convince my serious toddler to eat more food. One more big bite. One more big bite, Edward. Good job, Edward. Huh? That's an awesome big bite. Good job. <laughs> and to my surprise, my son ate all the food. The second insight I've seen in the job market is that there's a very limited supply of AI talent. Even the lots of people who take some $1 or $10 Udemy course about AI, they all start to claim they know AI. However, whenever people go into job interviews and immediately is an interviewer find out you're only doing some theoretical study about AI, you immediately get rejected during interview. And this opening about Gen AI Prime Manager and Scale AI. Within 11 hours of posting this job opening, they already had over one hundred applicants and I can guarantee you all those tier one company like OpenAI as well as small AI startups. The first question they ask you during those interview is that how do you develop the data pipeline? Tell me a real life experience how you build your own AI chatbot product. And a lots of product managers out there not able to pass a hiring manager round of those interviews. It was because the real life experience is stacking. Therefore, I recommend everybody check out our hands-on AI plan management bookend. That's the best if they only program in the market that helps you to match with the developers to develop a real life AI product. And again, hands-on experience and launch your own AI product. You can go to this free AI plan management workshop throughout how you're able to gain hands-on experience working on AI product for free. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. Number three, human in the loop is very necessary. There is a Forbes article talking about how Amazon is putting AI algorithm bias into the hiring process that put women at a disadvantage when they use AI to select resumes. Therefore, with a helpful oversight, there might be fewer female engineers and fewer female AI product managers in the job market. So therefore, when we develop our own AI product as an AI product manager, it's very critical. We must think about different type of bias when we design a product from scratch. I filmed another video which shared with you the end-to-end product management lifecycle skills for AI product managers. Just check out this video right here to develop your bulletproof AI product. So with all those market trends, if you are an employee and a candidate, what should you do so that you're going to survive and not be replaced by AI? Number one, you must continue learning about AI knowledge in general because Maybe AI is just a hype. Maybe it's going to take off to the next level. So it's very important everybody must get immersed regarding what the latest trends about AI and different kind of AI knowledge for you to use AI and also develop your own AI product. And I recommend everybody check out this top eight AI courses I've selected so that you're able to start learning for free. You can go to this website and download those top eight classes right now. I'm also going to link in the description of this video. Second thing all existing product manager must do is think about how to add AI to your existing roadmap. I'm being sincere with you, all the tech companies out there have the unique group called Center Excellent of AI Practices, where they have a small communities and figure out what the new strategies we can leverage AI and whether they should work on AI in their strategic long-term vision. 
So you, as an existing product manager, you must think about whether you should add AI on your roadmap and explore different kind of new initiatives within your own company so that you're not easily going to wiped out by the AI initiatives. So to learn how to add AI to your existing roadmap, you check out this free training where I have the senior Gen AI PM from Amazon give you an example of how to add AI to the roadmap of Instagram. I'm going to link it in the description of this video as well. The third action all candidates need to do is to master advanced soft skills, such as public speaking skills, communication skills, negotiation skills, storytelling skills, because those skills are not that easy to be replaced by AI. And even if AI can read similar stories, but we know it's AI. So those kind of interpersonal relationship is something very unique and all the human is going to grab it and make it even tighter compared with before. I also have several recommended puppy speaking courses I personally took. I believe everybody should take as well. I'm going to link in the description of this video as well. Trying to break into AI and trying to get paid $1 million from OpenAI is not going to happen overnight. But the good news is everybody must start learning starting from today by taking these eight recommended AI courses that have been filtered by me and I personally took those. I really love these. I recommend everybody start learning for free by go to this website and learning all the eight courses uh, for free starting from today. And I also want you guys to follow this step-by-step -step guide right here in this video where I tell you the complete roadmap how to learn and gain generative AI experience. If you like any free tips and resources we provided, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.